Hey, welcome back to another video for our car uh, application. We are going to now add a function to the add to cart. So in the previous video, we were able to create a car and add it to our inventory. Now we want to be able to make a selection and add it to our shopping list. So let's double click on add to cart. So we have an add to cart button now that has a function in it. And we need to, first of all, create a data source so that this item here can be uh, populated. So what is this data source? We have a store, and let's take a look inside of the store again. We have a store that has a car list, which is our inventory, and then the shopping list, which is like our cart. And so in this uh, second line here is what we're looking at. We're going to be working on the shopping list. So we want to be able to populate the shopping list into the cart. All right, so let's go back into our form. So at the bottom of the form here, we had the form load. And you can see that we set the car inventory uh, data binding source. We're going to do something similar here. So see if you can guess what we're going to do. I'm going to pause here and uh, see if you can set this up to work with the other list box. Okay, if you need some help, I'm going to do it for you right now. So the first thing is we need to look for cart. Cart inventory or cart binding source. That's what it is. And we're going to follow the same pattern as we did before. So the data source is going to be equal a different list. So my store dot, and which one are you going to pick now? So the shopping list is the correct one. So we uh, set the shopping list as its uh, source of data. Now I'm going to use the same two commands here on the other uh, list box. So LST underscore cart. And we're going to set the data source to equal to be the cart inventory data source. And then we're going to set the second command the same way is, is going to be display member is going to be equal to string. So we will look the same on each of those lists, even though they're coming from a different data source. All right, so now let's go by up to here. So what happens when we choose add to cart? Well, what we're trying to do is we're going to get the selected item from the, uh, in, from the inventory. And then we're going to add that item to the cart. So those are, that's the process that we're going to do. Now, how are we going to do that? First of all, we need to get the selected item. So that's not too hard. Let's say this is car is going to be selected car. I'm going to break this up into pieces so that way it's um, easier for, for you to, to grasp rather than trying to do it all in one line. So the first thing is let's take a look at the listed car. So it's called selected item, I believe. Selected item. And sure enough, there's lots of different things that you could do. You can see that there's a selected index. So that would tell you which row number has been selected. You could do selected items. So if the person is using the control key to, or the shift key, you can select more than one. So we're only carrying about one selected item. All right, so now it says I got a problem. It says uh, I cannot convert the class or the type object to a car. Well, we know that cars are stored in the list, right? However, we need to tell this thing here, this selected car, that it's going to be a car. So let's call it a cast. To cast something, you put a parentheses and the data type in front of it. Now, if you cast incorrectly and you send in a truck instead of a car or what other object, it will crash the program. So you have to be guaranteed that this is actually a car coming from the list. Well, car is going to be it. Okay, so we have a selected car. Now I want to add that car to the store. So let's go to my store dot um, shopping list. And I want to add an item. Well, guess which one I want to add? The selected item. Okay, so now I have to update the uh, uh, store. So let's go to uh, the list. So, so as you remember down here, we have the uh, data source set for uh, right here, the shopping list. And now all I have to do is tell it to update the data source. So now I'm going to update the cart, uh, cart binding source, and say it's going to be reset, reset bindings, and then we need a Boolean, true or false. And just like before, we're going to choose false because we are not changing anything except for adding an item. Okay, so let's see, my comments are slightly out of place. So we added this to the cart uh, about right there. 
And let's see, this was, let's put an explanation is update the list box control. All right, that should, uh, should work. Let's see if it does. Let's try it. And okay, so the first thing is every time I have to create a new car. So let's create our usual Ford Focus, give him a price. And uh, now we have one item in the list. Let's do another one. Okay, we got two items. So if I select an item and choose Add to Cart, you can see that the Corvette is in there. If I want another Corvette, I add it. So I got lots of Corvettes. And let's buy a Focus and come back to the Corvette. So you can see that every time I do an Add to Cart, I'm adding a new item to my, uh, my store uh, shopping cart list. Okay, the last thing is we have to figure out how much this is all worth. So check out. Sounds like a good project for the next video.